open, you're going to hover over to Jobs and select Calibrate Dexter. Select which Dexter you want to calibrate by doing that, and um, let's start with J3. Just click Start J3, and your robot should move. And here you will see the visual representation of the data collected by the optical encoders. Um, each axis represents amount of light being measured by one phototransistor and having it go in a circle like this is exactly what you want. Um, you may have to adjust the potentiometers because sometimes you'll get something that looks more like this. Um, if you get this problem, it's not a big deal really. You just have to turn your potentiometers down, take a flathead screwdriver, and just adjust these and watch for a perfect circle that does not touch the edges. It doesn't have to be perfect either, it just has to be open. Okay, got to adjust my y-axis a little bit more. And that is a perfect eye. You're going to want to let it run through, so we're just going to do that. Now, this isn't the best example of an eye, but you have that opening right there, which is all you really need. Um, you have some of this on the edge here. You don't really want that, but you can live with it um, if you can't get it to leave, but once you have an opening here, you just want to click in the middle like that, and a number will appear in the corner here. Um, you want to record that number somewhere, just write it down and correspond which um, axis that's for, and just make sure to keep a record of it as you do all five joints. This is how you calibrate um, an eye that relies on nails for positioning, such as the base, the angle, or the rotate. Um, as you can see here, it's, it's a lot in this corner. A lot of it is in this corner. Um, you don't want that, but this is an easy problem to fix. That just means too much light's coming through. So to do that, you're going to adjust your potentiometers, turn them down so less light is shining. Now let's look at the screen. Okay, that's a lot closer to what we want, um, but not exactly yet. Um, next, what you'll start doing is adjusting this on the nails to see if you can get something better than what you had. Sometimes you can pull it away and uh, turn the potentiometers back up. Although, I can see that that is not doing much. Oh wait, I just wasn't properly turning it. Yeah, now that's a lot more open. And you just want to adjust it until you have something that you're happy with.
Okay, yeah, that's about what I want. I'm gonna make sure that it's the same near the start. Sometimes you'll get problems like this. That usually indicates a problem with the code disk itself. Um, let me make sure that this is sitting flat. Other common problems with code disks include slits being clogged with whatever it is they're clogged with, such as plastic, maybe even hot glue. Um, to fix those, just clear the blockage and you should be good. Now this isn't exactly circular, but it's round and it's open, which is what you want. Um, once you're happy with where your eye is, you're going to come over to your nails. You're going to put a drop of super glue on each one. This will prevent the block from moving and it'll keep your eye permanent. Get the center from here, get that number, and you're good. Once you have the five values for your eyes, as shown here, you're going to want to SSH into your Dexter to set the settings uh, properly. So to do this, you're just going to connect to your Dexter through SSH. Log in as root. Password KLG. And then you're going to do CD slash. Once you're in your Dexter, you're going to change directory to slash SRV slash samba slash share and once you're here you're going to type bi adc centers txt now once you're here you're going to see 10 values like your eyes but they are likely to be different um, row one and row two are the first two values for your j1 and here's where things get different the second two go to your J3, and then the third pair go to your J2. So J2 and J3 are swapped essentially. J4 and J5 follow suit um, just normally, so J4 right here, J5 right here. To change the values in your VI window, um, you're just going to Put a capital R, type the three changes in digits, hit escape, go down to the next line, do the same thing. And you're just going to do this until all of your Dexter's eyes have been changed.
Okay, now once you have those entered, you're going to hit escape again, colon, W, Q, enter, and that will reset it, this, that will write it, sorry, and then to write the changes to the FPGA, you're going to type down shutdown dash R now. And that's how you set your centers. Hey, boys. Hey, Todd. Hey, Todd.